Hi guys, Zach here. This is my let's play of The Testament of Sherlock Holmes number 18. Now, um, since I'm just amazing, I don't cheat. I cheated. Uh, so, I think this should be the answer. And I should probably unmute the TV. Hit down! So, let's see what's in Jenny. I don't even know her name. Well. Yep. It's really very clever. Little Jenny is astonishing. Little? Little? Ew! Ew! Disgusting Watson, get out of my face. Alright, let's see what's in here. Okay, pocket watch, what's that? Uh, Jenny Patterson, Frank Brighton, a single heart with two souls in eternal love. Okay. That's all good. Fine dandy. Um A locket sealing the relation between Jenny and Warden Brighton. Decidedly this boy is not a great poet. What's this? Letter. My Jenny, let's get married. Never mind. Uh, I love you, I love you. <laughs> uh, think about the babe and don't forget that. I love you, I love you, I love you, and I've written you a poem. Jenny Patterson, your heart pounds, mine weighs a ton, our love has no bounds. It just goes on and on. <coughs> it was inspired by the great Chinese poets to write it. The courageous, my honey bun. Aw, your Frankie. What an ugly name, Frankie. I'm kidding, I love the name Frankie. I don't love the name Frankie. Frankie, however you say it. A letter from Brighton to Jenny. Ooh. Barely literate. Apparently, Jenny is carrying Brighton's child, Ew. and it seems that Jenny's father, the director, <gasps> is unaware of this. Ooh, okay. Maybe she should go on, I didn't know I was pregnant. Maybe not. Uh, service sheet, basement guard, warden of Sullivan, reception, warden, okay. What? Okay, I guess just service sheet. Here is the famous guard duty list. Interesting. Yes, yes, very interesting song. Ew! You're so ugly. You... I don't even know you anymore. I don't... I don't know you. Uh, alright, what now? Let's go talk to Jenny. Oh wait, no, let me give that guy his coat first. I can't do it, I can't do it, I can't do it. Here you go, here's your coat. Sorry, sirs. I'm on duty. What? I can't help you. I got your coat, though. Oh. Uh. Here you go, here's your coat. There you Sorry, go. Sorry, sirs. What? I'm on duty. I can't help you. What? I, I got your coat, though. Well, there's two things we can do. We can talk to Jenny, or we can give Hans his pen. Let me talk to Jenny, and, uh get this situated first. Uh, where's Jenny? Over here. I can't do it. I can't do it. I can't do it. I don't know why I did that. Alright, Jenny. You have some explaining to do. You ugly piece of poo. We have found the guard duty cards, miss. If you'd like, I can go and discreetly give them to the guards. Well, thank you. Wait, what? We have found the guard duty. Thank you. But, what? You're pregnant, aren't you? You ugly piece of poo. Let's go. I swear to God, if Watson's behind this, I, I'm gonna, uh... Come on, Watson, where are you? Oh. Ew! Ew! He was hiding behind the door! He was hiding behind the door! You ugly, ugly, sinister man. Alright. Um... I guess I have to go give the sheets now? I don't know. I don't know. Uh... Here you go. Sorry, sir. Um... Okay, go ahead. Alright, let's let me go in here. Um... Sorry, Mr. Holmes, you can't go in the basement for the moment. What? For what reason? The door has locked itself automatically. You must enter a new security code. Do it, then. 
Miss Patterson hasn't put up a guard duty this year. Without that information, we don't know who's authorised to take note of the new car. So Mackenzie is locked in the high security zone. Yes, but don't worry about him. He's trained for this sort of dysfunction. Uh-oh. Why not ask the director to take note of the code and open the door? He isn't allowed to. I doubt that he would run the risk of going against the orders of the administration centre. Anyway, the bars in the high security section are joined to the alarm system, which is in that room. Uh -oh. We only need to sound it to unblock, but you see, we can't do that now. We'll try to find the duty list, Warden James. <laughs> duty. Oh yeah, here's your index thing. We have found Chief Warden James's duty list. <laughs> duty. Good. Thank you, Mr. Rogers. Let's see. Oh, Sullivan, if you take over from Mackenzie, take note of the code, please, and unblock the door. At once, Chief. I'm just gonna. Sorry, 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 sorry. Okay, it's good. The guest book. Oh, Mr. Rose, could I ask you for a favor? No! Please do. Dang it. I think I can say, on behalf of all the staff, that we would be honored if you would care to write something in our guest book. With pleasure, no, Sullivan. Uh oh, it's Hans's pen. You seem worn out, O'Sullivan. A good night's sleep would do you good. What? A good night's sleep would do me good. You're right, Mr. Holmes. Uh oh. Is something worrying you? As you know, Westgate Prison will soon be demolished. And I'm spending most of my nights studying for my exam to join the police. You understand, I have to think about my future. So sleep isn't a priority. Scotland Yard is always looking for young, competent, and motivated men. Would a letter of recommendation from me allow you to get some sleep? What? A letter from Mr. Sherlock Holmes recommending me for Scotland Yard? Are you quite serious? No. Completely serious, my young friend. May I use this writing paper? The one on your desk? No. A thousand thanks, Mr. Holmes. A thousand thanks. No. It's addressed to Inspector Baines, a good friend of mine. There's no need to remind you that it must be opened only by the person to whom it is addressed. Yeah. Yes, of course. I'll give it to him personally. Thank personally. you. Again, personally. Mr. Rose. You announce it. Alright, see you. At your service, Mr. Rose. Yeah. You better be at my service. Okay. How about you? See you soon, Mr. Rose. Okay, going now? Oh. Okay. But I probably can't go in here. Yes, I can. Yeah. Warden Mackenzie, at your service, sir. Okay, apparently the guy from, uh... Oh, man, what's that one with Tom Hanks? Uh... uh I hate you! I hate you! Watson, you suck! Stop sneaking up on me! Every time I turn around, you're just there. You're just there. Ugh. All right, huh? Uh, oh, hey Olaf. Hey other Olaf. Uh, Hans, here you go. Here's your pen. Well. Well. Here's your pen. What do you need? Oh wait, you know what? I forgot to equip it. Yeah, yeah, yeah goodbye. See. Uh, pen, 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 pen. Here you go. Well. Well, here's your pen. Yeah. You have what you wanted, your precious pen. You seem annoyed, Mr. Holmes. I would even go so far as to say terribly worried. Why should you care, Mr. Shieldman? Let's talk about that poison. I am not talking about you. In the grip of natural emotions found in ordinary people who are confronted by the inexplicable. But as for Mr. Holmes, you are embarrassed, aren't you? Are you hiding something? Yes. That is enough, Schumann. You have kept your word. Therefore, I will keep mine. At this moment, the poison oh. which so interests you isn't finished yet. Its maker is encountering great difficulties in attaining the desire. Oh, do we have to get a st what stuff is the end result? 
some of their disciples, as Descartes once said, to become the master and owner of nature. You must kill yourself. Here we are talking about human nature, of course. And the creator's what? problem isn't so much the mixture as the durability of his creation. The ability. What do you mean? You see, this poison was made using rare but very volatile short-living compounds, which means that it is only possible to produce small quantities, which most importantly do not keep for a long time. She was evil. Seeding such a product in a laboratory especially built for the purpose could be achieved by any good chemist. But recopying this alchemy on another scale and keeping it ready at any moment could kill it off. particular conservation and storing conditions that the substance of this type requires. Well, that would need a genius. So, you need me to do it. Ew! I what? doubt yeah. if the creator of this mixture would be capable. And you would be, of course. Of course. Luckily, you are going to spend the rest of your life in prison. Luck is cyclical. It always comes around again, sooner or later. As far as I am concerned, I have the feeling that the cycle is going to be very short. that an escape attempt will be made. Yes, we must go and warn the director. Okay, uh... Oh my god. I hate you. Um... I'm gonna stop the video right here. So, uh... You know, you guys know drill. Leave a like, leave a favorite. I love you all. And until next time, America.